Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today we're going to be going over a standing liquid lock design called the three layer standing lock. Now, to get it started, the design is as shows this five point five by six tile space. We need to make a design like this, and of course, it's going to fit in the normal hallway design for your rooms. But for the most part, this is the same size as your standard liquid lock. Now, of course, the design is as follows. You want to make a tile spacing exactly like this with the 2x2s here with a small dugout in the middle and then solid tiles here. You also need to have automation on the mechanized airlocks and these need to be mechanized airlocks. You also need to have the signal switch. Now, of course, once you have this built, you're going to need a bottle emptier on top and we're going to be dropping in our liquids. The one thing about this is that you need to drop your liquids by the heaviest liquid first. Our case, the three liquids we're going to be choosing is going to be crude oil, brine, and then regular water. You could also use polluted water, but I would heavily advise against that as polluted water will disrupt the water on top if it's not on the top of the uh, three layers. Because of how it off gases, typically you don't want to use polluted water in general. Now, of course, you need to drop the liquids by the liquid density. And if you don't, you run into the off chance of having the glitch where the liquid gets deleted instead of dripping out onto the area. Now, of course, the volume, you want to keep it as little as possible. You don't really want to have a lot of liquid spill out. But that only matters for the two liquids that's going to be by the doors. In our case, crude oil, that's going to be the first thing we're going to drop off over here does not matter how much we actually put as you can see on the tile space it's only surrounded by walls but for now we're going to be waiting to get our liquids in and we're going to drop them off on these three tiles yep spilled in the liquids we put in crude oil first and then afterwards we spilled a little bit of brine we have about 74 grams this must have been mopped up from the floor somewhere and then on top we have about 27 kilograms of water with the rest of it being right there after you fill it up the volume doesn't matter you just need to have three layers and if you can you want it to be as little liquid as possible but if you guys overfill it it's actually okay afterwards what you're going to want to do is build a tile right here all right, so we built the tile space right there. As you can see, when we build the tile, that causes the liquid to actually fill up the full and an entire block, just like the other liquids below. Now from here, this is where it gets very tricky. This is a very finicky part of the liquid lock and why people actually fail. What you have to do is have the signal switch right here connected to both mechanized airlocks so that you could open both of these at the same time. The logic is, is that if these open, the liquids are going to spill out and that's going to leave a minimum amount of liquid on these two tiles. So here's what you do. Turn it on. And once the doors open, you want the liquid to spill out, but have your cursor on top of the liquid. As you can see right here, the brine is not reducing anymore. And that's what you want to see. You don't want to mop yet. You want to wait until the liquids are not spilling out more liquid. And that means the liquid's amounts are steady as so. So the liquid here is not dripping anymore and it's not dripping here anymore. From there, what you want to check is these two tiles next to the door only have one layer of liquid. You do not want to have a layer of brine and then water on top when you mop as that will cause issues for this. If you guys do have that issue, I recommend closing the door again, which will push the water both in and outwards and do a preemptive mop session to get rid of any of the extra water, which we'll do right now. All right. So the duplicates mopped everything out. We have about 38 and 74 grams. And now we're going to try opening the door again. All right. Oh, no. This is technically the worst case situation where we have liquid on this tile. So we ran into the issue of not having the brine actually spill out to the edge tiles. The dangers of actually mopping where the door tile is is actually really bad. If you guys didn't know, mopping is on three tiles like that. And if we would mop on this tile, it would actually break our liquid lock. What we needed to do is have the liquid spill out to this tile so that we could mop it out. So what we did was we actually added a little bit more water to the top layer. And we're going to try it again.
Now both the brine and the liquid should be spilling out, but it doesn't look like that's the case. That's okay. We'll close the doors as there's two on here and one on that side. There's water on that tile, which is good. And we could try this again. Perfect. And that's the standing lock. Now, typically what you would have is liquid on this tile and this tile, and then liquid on this tile and that tile. Ideally, if you have a situation where it's only liquids on these two and these two, you would mop on this tile and this tile, which would take care of the water on this tile and this tile. Now, in our case, we were lucky enough to actually have that stand on its own. And this is the standing lock. Now, what is the benefits of having a standing liquid lock like this? The benefits of having a standard standing liquid lock like this is that, if you guys didn't know, when a duplicate travels through a lock, and if they do a jumping motion, they actually teleport through the liquid lock. So we'll showcase that right now once we mop that up so that we don't get jabated. To showcase how the standing lock works, we're going to have Mighty Stoosh over here. He's wearing an Atmos suit, but we're going to unequip it. And we're going to have him jump across the lock. As of right now, you can see he has popped eardrums, but no other debuff. And as he jumps, he does not get the sopping wet debuff. Just like that. That's the benefit of the standing lock. As long as you have this jumping right here, which is actually why we have this tile space dug up like this because if duplicates are traveling across they're going to want to jump over then to climb down and to climb back up that makes it so that they don't get the sopping wet debuff which is going to be less stressful for your duplicates of course that's the standing lock design if you guys have any questions about the build feel free to let me know otherwise don't forget to like and subscribe guys